Witches, Pagans, and Ghouls. It's a me, Witchy by Nature. Wow, I kind of sound like Mario right there. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, that's stupid. <laughs> uh, update. Hi, everyone. It's been four months since I've made my last, four or five months since I made, since I made my last video. Wow, how time flies by. Um, yeah, uh, excuses. I had no energy uh, to do any videos. I had uh, imposter syndrome, because I'm like, I can't do this. I'm not good enough. I don't have the knowledge that I thought I did. And I'm not as knowledgeable as uh, everyone else on YouTube. And I'm like, ah, oh, might as well not do it anyway. Oh well. And then I got depressed because I wasn't doing the videos and I'm like, I really want to make videos. And then I kept having ideas for videos and I was like, well, that means I got to put up my tripod. I got to do stuff with my phone. I got to record it. I got to make an outline. I print out my outlines for my stuff, but, but yeah. And then it's like, Recently, I've had to help move my parent-in-laws to their new house from their rental. And that's been, that's been a lot for like two, maybe three weeks now. Huh, those are my excuses, if you want to consider those ex excuses. So, what are we here today for? Uh, we're here to talk about the time, well, time and another time, that I hexed. And I have heard uh, that if you do videos like these, like if you even talk about ooh, curses and hexes and jinxes and stuff like that and like possibly making videos about them, that uh, you'll get hate and you'll get comments that are like, oh, you love and light only and oh, you shouldn't be cursing and hexing people, blah, 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 blah. I'm the type of person where I'm only gonna like go that far and use my energy to hex someone. I haven't cursed anyone. I've only hexed. Curses are like, <laughs> they're like a lot more uh, advanced than a hex or a jinx is. So, but I've only ever hexed twice. Uh, I'm, and I'm the type of person that would only use my energy to hex someone if you really fucked up. Yes, I curse. I'm sorry. But yeah, if you do something really fucked up to me, to my friends, or my family, you better be watching your fucking back. I'm not gonna tell you, but uh, you better know if you fucked up real bad, I'm gonna be there to fuck it up. <laughs> sorry about the light. Also, sorry about this whole setup. Um, my room uh, looks like shit right now and I don't I had enough energy to just do this hopefully I have more next week my room is a mess like I said <sighs> I have too much stuff I need to get rid of it but I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to take them most of the stuff I'm trying to still figure out Sorry if there's like a lot of jump cuts. Uh, I have allergies, <laughs> like most people, and I cough and hack and sneeze and rub my nose and stuff uh, all the time. Uh, I am taking allergy medicine, but it's still like not enough for me because my body hates me. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, the room. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of stuff and there's nowhere to put it and I need to get rid of it. Like I have a lot of tarot decks and oracle cards I need to get rid of because I don't use them. The only ones I really use are like none of them. So I don't know. Maybe I might do a give giveaway. We'll see about that. I also have a lot of books that I don't read. Some of them are like nonfiction books. But anyway, we're not here to talk about my room. We are here to talk about, uh, my story time. But yeah, if you see me looking down, like every video I've pretty much ever done, 
So for the ones you can't see my face in, I'm looking at something. My mind will wander and uh, I'll go on a tangent and then I'm like 50 conversations in with myself and I'm like, what was I saying? But yeah, this is probably a really long intro. I'm sorry. Anyway, we're, we're gonna get started, I promise. So, trigger warnings. One is suicide. One is depression. I think that's it so far. Yeah, this gets into some like heavy shit. Uh, I do suffer from depression, or well, I guess used to. Um, I was very depressed in my younger age. I am like, 26 now um so i was depressed in middle school high school and most of my life after high school uh, i did go to college for like a year but that doesn't, that doesn't count and i have only been suicidal maybe three times like actually thinking and almost attempted suicide three times in my life i've had suicidal thoughts pretty much all my life but I haven't attempted, unless it was like those three times, and two of those times are gonna be in this video. How wonderful. Discretion. This is not a tale of never doing hexes ever. Like, oh no, you can't do it now because I had a horrible uh, experience with this. This is more like maybe you need, like you need more experience before you attempt to do a hex or a curse. You also don't, you probably don't need to be uh, blinded by anger when you do one, but that's gonna be like at the end, like conclusion wise. And also the woman in this story uh, allegedly has bipolar disorder. Uh, I don't know that for real. Uh, I only knew her for like the short amount of time that my friend dated and courted her. They were like fiancés at the time. I also want to emphasize BPD does not make you a bad person, but it does not excuse your actions either. Let's let's get into the story. So I don't want to give away too much because this is not exactly my story to tell. Most of it, it would be great to have context, but this, it isn't my story to tell. It really isn't. If I could, I would have him come and like tell most of it. But all you gotta know is that this woman, that my friend that I lived with at one point with my husband before we got married, uh, we lived with him, my, my friend, who is also my husband's friend first. But anyway, we lived with my friend for about three years and then that last year we lived in the house with my friend. He started dating, I'm gonna call her K, like the letter K, to differentiate just a little bit. And my friend's name's gonna be like C, as in the letter C, right? So C starts dating K about a year before me and my husband move out of their house. So then, about six months in, he proposes, or they could have been dating longer than that, I'm not entirely sure. My memory is terrible, but I just know, I just remember that it was like for six months before they were supposed to get married, and that's a whole nother story, but anyway, six months before they were supposed to get married, I started seeing, well, everyone that lived there started seeing mysterious bruises appearing on his body and this man is not he's not like a timid timid man he's not timid he is not beta male i don't i don't believe in the beta male alpha male bullshit it's stupid he's not a beta male he's not a timid little man he's jacked this man is built and he is not shy. <laughs> I mean, he's very respectable. He's not an asshole. And pretty much when we started seeing these bruises on him, what are you even doing? And he would just make it a big, make up an excuse. And one time about, I think a month before they broke up, uh, he had a black eye on his right side. I'm pretty sure. Um, it was all around his eye. 
And his first excuse, I know I shouldn't be saying that because it's not my story to tell, but his first excuse was that Kay had reached over him and elbowed his face by accident, like elbowed his eye. And I'm like, okay. Second excuse when we asked him was that when she was reaching over to get the charger, the charger poked his eye. And I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> Are you, are you positive that's what happened? And he just, he just kept with the story. I never, in those, in those last six months, she never left the room. She, she had a job, um, not gonna say what it was, but she had a job and, but we would never really see her leave the room when she was home by herself. She would leave the room when C would come home. And then C would go into the room and we wouldn't see them again. But yeah, the last day, the day that they broke up, I was out with my sister, came back home. I think my sister had just dropped me off and just went back to her house. I think she was still living with our parents at the time. But, um, but yeah, I went inside. There's like the living room. Oh, there's the living room. And then to this side in the back part, there's the hallway going this way. So like to my right, or well, it'd be the left if you walked in the front door, but still. So, but anyway, the hallway's that's this way. So at the very end of the hallway is broken shards of ceramic, which was from a oil diffuser that she had. And essentially they got in an argument. I don't know about what, and I'm not gonna say if I do remember, <laughs> but uh, he was at the end of the hallway where they're room was and he had just came out of the room when he said that she chucked the ceramic at his face yeah the ceramic cover for the oil diffuser at his face she was that angry and i, I bet what i have no idea to this day i don't remember <sighs> But yeah, and then he told her to leave and she left right before I got home. I think about five minutes before I got back home and he was in, in the back of the hallway picking the shards up and I'm like, what just happened? Then he released what he told me and then I got angry, very angry. I was pissed. I wanted to murder this woman. Now, you should not react in anger <laughs> to anything that is magic related that you could that you could do magically at all like emotions are powerful but in the heat of the moment you're not thinking clearly but anyway that's gonna be at the end we're gonna have a whole moral story about this but yeah i got pissed really pissed and I asked for his permission. I'm like, hey, do you mind if I do a jar on her? Yeah, I did a sour jar. At this point, I was practicing hoodoo. I know, white woman practicing hoodoo. Mm -hmm. This was a few years ago, so don't really do it anymore. I don't. I don't. Pra I don't practice hoodoo. I thought I was, and then it's like, no, bitch, you just appropriating and I'm like okay <laughs> but yeah so did a sour jar uh I put a bracelet in there that was supposedly hers supposedly hers and put all like sour shit like lemons and limes uh put alcohol in it to make it last uh I think that's all I put in there I think I also put like lavender in there I was doing like a serious jar like like i wanted her to lose her love life i wanted her to lose money i wanted her to lose her health all the things so sealed the jar right and then i proceed to put the saturn's intelligence sigil on it along with another sigil i can't remember what it was what it was for hold on did i put it in here Okay, no, I didn't. Didn't know what the intelligence sigil meant whatsoever. It means something completely different 
Well, not completely different. Like, it's still part of, like, Saturn, because Saturn's, like, restrictive, binding, banishing. Uh, do You could do hex work with him. It. It. I, I, don't, I don't work with the god Saturn. I mostly work with planets, not the deities. Yeah, I do, I do work with deities, but when I'm saying, like, Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, Venus, it's planetary. So I did the planetary intelligence se se uh, sigil at the time, which I looked up on Google. And the one the first thing that comes up for me is the learn religions. And it doesn't tell you what it's for. I mean, it does. It's like, oh, it's the sigil for, uh, for Jupiter or Saturn or whatever. But it doesn't tell you like, the properties of what it was used for historically because it's from like Agrippa. I've recently only got the books or the book, books, the three books. And I've been trying to read that because I've been like studying a little bit about uh, Western occultism. Re only recently within like the last month. So of course, like a few years ago, I didn't know what it actually was for. And then I used another sigil I think I made myself. It was to hex her, like, oh, I put a hex. I think I actually put a curse. I said, I curse her or whatever. But then like, I made my own sigil. Don't remember what that, that was for. I know it was for the hex, but still. And then after I made it, finished it, sealed it, guess what I did with the first one? I didn't chunk it somewhere else in a landfill or bury it in the ground away from my home. No, 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 no. Guess what I did? I kept it in our cabinets. Cabinets! Oh my God, I was a dummy. Uh, no, do not do that. <laughs> do not put malefic items that you have purposefully made for someone else in your home. Throw that shit away. <laughs> put it somewhere else. Do not leave it in your house. Do not put it on your property. Do not put it in your neighborhood. It needs to be far, far away from you. So, oh, <laughs> and then I never cleansed before or after. So, I, not even my person. It had stayed in our cabinets for about a year, like another year, while me and my husband were still living there. Anyway, it sat in our cabinets, and for the first two weeks, I was fine. You know, I have mental illnesses, depression, anxiety, and I had suicidal th thoughts at the time. That third week, though, I was not fine. I got extremely depressed, like more than normal. I had suicidal thoughts at that time, but I was not suicidal. Like I wasn't trying to attempt to take my life. I just had thoughts of like, oh, I'm worthless. I'm not, I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna live anymore. But I never took or never thought to take action on those words, on my thoughts. It only lasted for about a week, then I was fine. It was actually at that point where I was working for, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it because I don't know if there's like any other factories or whatnot. I was working for Adidas at the time and I hated my job anyway. And I got, at that point when I got really suicidal, like depressed and suicidal, I wasn't going to work. <laughs> so I lost my job <laughs> at that point. So yeah, and then I sought mental help uh, min, min, yeah, I sought, I sought help. I went to the doctor, got medication, and then I was fine. Uh, as fine as you can be on depression and anxiety medication. Then after that happened, uh, I think it was like another six months or a year before, I think we were all moving out at the same time. I think he was trying to move out, C was trying to move out, and then me and my husband were trying to move out kind of like at the same time because he was, because C was selling his house and bought his childhood home and then me and my husband were in the process of looking for a house we ended up building our own house in a new neighborhood didn't really like that i really wanted to be on my parents property but uh you know fuck all that bull
bullshit. It's very expensive right now. While we were trying to move out, both of us at the same time, I was trying for some reason, I don't know why I got this into my head. I was like, okay, see, you need to throw this jar away because it, because I made it for you and you need to throw it away. That was another mistake. Do not rely on other people to throw away your shit because he forgot all the time. And I don't know what happened to it. I'm not sure if it just stayed in the cabinet because after me and my husband left, I did not throw it out. So I don't know if C threw it out or the new owners threw it out. I'm sure the new owners were like, what the fuck is this? But yeah, don't rely on other people to throw away your shit because they're probably not, because they'll probably forget because it was a priority to get it done and to like throw it the fuck away, but never cleansed it either. Never did any of that. <laughs> See all the mistakes I made? Don't, don't do my mistakes, don't do that. And then I think six months to a year, somewhere around that period of time, I found out that, um, Kay was still harassing C because she was allegedly off her medicine, wasn't taking it for her alleged BPD. So, and this was like also before they bro broke up too. So like that could have attributed to her anger and all that stuff. So, but at the time, like I said, I didn't know. And then he told me, uh, while he also was talking about uh, how Kay was still bothering him, still trying to harass him, and she was also making like these posts about him. And he has a business. He has his biz. He has a business. And she was like making fake accounts to like ruin his business, making comments like, "Oh, he never picked up my trash. Oh, he never gave me a call back. Oh, blah 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 blah. I paid him for a whole year and he hasn't given me a trash can yet." And I'm like. <sighs> Why you gotta, why? But yeah, when he told me again, I was like, I don't care if the hex jar is still out there somewhere, just like rotting and not cleansed or anything. I'm just gonna make another one. And this time I'm going to have the help of Hecate. <laughs> ah! oh, oh my God. I made another one for the same person. Uh, with Hecate's help, I asked Hecate for help. She, she said yes. Now mind you, just because a deity says yes to something that you asked them for help for, doesn't mean you're gonna get it your way. Made the new jar on her altar. I was, did this whole ritual for it. Still never cleansed before or after. Bad idea. After the ritual was done, the jar was sealed. This time I made a petition with her name, birthday, and pins, needles, salt, and it's like a few other things. I can't really remember what they were. So after I sealed it and all that, uh, it stayed on Hecate's altar. Uh, I want to say about six months for six months. And then my friend told me to like, get the fuck, like get rid of it. And then he made me, <laughs> And then he made me cleanse the house and he made me wash my hands with salt. And I'm like, hmm, this is a good idea. I should have done this a long time ago. But anyway, after I made it for a week, I was fine. After that week, I was not fine. I got severely depressed and I almost committed suicide during that time and I was depressed for a whole month this time. A whole month. Also, I never gave Hecate an offering for this. Probably should have, because maybe she was angry at me. I'm not sure what the cause of my, I don't want to say it was a, I want to say flashbacks, but that's not the right word. I want to say it partially bounced back to me because it was like kind of like the same stuff except for like the money part. It was more like my happiness was draining. I'm not sure if it was the spell just being like, hey, you gotta take some of your shit to feel this 
or if it was Hecate being like, you didn't give me an offering, uh, you gonna get punished a little bit for a long time. Or it was maybe both. Or maybe it was because I kept the fucking spell jar again in the house. It was like, oh yes, let's take zap your energy for six fucking months. And that first month was awful. Oh my god, the that that I almost took my life that that second time. Like, we own guns. There was a gun in my husband's um, nice android, and I really thought about it. But I'm like, no, I gotta get through this. I gotta get through this. Plus, I don't want to leave yet. And during this time, I also had started a new job. Almost got fired from that job. And it's a job where uh, a family member works at. And I'm like, if I get fired, it's gonna look bad on them. And I've already done that once. And I don't want to do that again, because that makes me look awful, terrible, and I don't, I don't like that. But all of this to say, uh, I was never regretful of doing those jars at the time. Probably should have done something better than hex the person. The first time I didn't know she was having a mental health crisis. The second time I sorta of knew, but I didn't know how bad it was uh, at the time. Probably still should have just been more considerate and just like did a candle, like a healing candle for her being like, hey, I, yeah, universe or whatever is out there. Uh, just give her some healing, give her some, like make her, not make her, I guess, but like let her see that she needs to go get help and that she needs to go get medication and like a therapist <laughs> or something. But I'm still to this day not regretful of the jars that I did because that's the person I am. If you're gonna hurt me, my friends, or my family, uh, you're gonna get it and you're gonna get it hard. I'm gonna put every fucking ounce of my soul into that. <laughs> like I do every, every spell work. I rarely do spe spell work anymore. Uh, and that's because I only do it if I really, really need it. Like, mo like a money spell. I'm not gonna do a money spell unless I really, really need it. And that's me. You can do whatever you want. If you need like a bonus or you need a raise or like you want a new boyfriend or girlfriend or partner or whatever, you do you. You can do as many spells as you want. I rarely do spell work. I do try and do cleansings once a week and that's usually like Florida water and mop in mop water to just cleanse the house itself. That's like literally what I, the only thing I do for cleansing besides maybe cleanse my, my own self. Like depend that is I don't know, that just depends. Anyway, that's this this is not about that. Conclusions. What have we learned? I never took precautions. I never thought to slow down and just think about things before I went into action. I still kind of don't, but at the same time, it's like, do I really need to do this spell? Never cleansed before and after. I still kind of don't either, but that's because I cleanse the house with Florida water and mop water like once a week, so. And I do sometimes incense for uh, clearing away the space and like bringing in good fortune and stuff like that with different incenses. And that's like only a few times a month, like on my days off. Like if I'm not working or if I am working, I'm not burning anything because my husband's kind of allergic to, to smoke and it like really bothers his sinuses and his lungs. So I try and like do it when I'm at home by myself. So like when I'm working on nights, I can't burn incense. Like candles are fine, but burning incense where there's like clearly smoke coming out, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that to him. I never chunked the jar somewhere far, far, far away from my home, twice. <laughs> you need to, again, malefic, unless it's like you, want to do it for a really long years years worth like a pop it or something like that if it's not something like that like a pop it or something you're constantly putting stuff in if it's a sealed jar or if it's like 
burnt remainings or it's like candle wax for it get it the fuck away from your home <laughs> if you have i have a, a septic system i can't flush anything down the toilet because it's gonna stay on our property unless i want to wait seven fucking years or five years or however, however long you need to wait before you get all that stuff pumped that's not gonna work for me <laughs> like it needs to go somewhere phys physically somewhere else to a landfill to a dump site something something like that or if it's biodegradable put it out in fucking nature go to the state park go, go go to a regular park and just set it down somewhere if it's biodegradable if it's biodegradable that's number one thing if it's biodegradable and you want to put it out in nature and not like a landfill do that you just need to get the fuck away from you your family your friends anybody who could be energetically linked to that with their presence nearby that's that's my take on that i never properly gave an offering to hecate and i'm pretty sure i pissed her the fuck off because she's like yeah i you asked for my help but i don't get compensation really <laughs> she, she was like bitch please <laughs> If you offer, if you ask for help from a deity, give them the proper offerings. If it's something huge or something that takes up a lot of energy and time, you need to give them something worthy of that. I should have probably given her like a huge fucking bottle of wine. This is only if you can afford that kind of stuff. Like if you can't, you could probably just be like, hey, I'm just going to like burn a candle for you and until I can get more money and I'm financially stable and I can buy you something bigger, this is what you're going to get. You need to lay out those grounds first. So, and then get like the proper guidance, answers to that. Just like, hey, is this okay? And if they're like, sure, buddy, be like, okay, we'll go with that. But uh, yeah, I probably should have like offered something really fucking huge, offered her incense, offered her anything and i probably wouldn't have gotten it as, as bad as i did the first time i should have kept a cool head i should have just sat with my thoughts calmed down and not have rushed into things because that's how you get backfire that's what it's called backfire you shouldn't have if you stayed calm and you did it when you're level-headed but still with you can still have emotions during spell work, but doing it in the heat of the moment, yes, it's going to be extremely powerful, but it's gonna zap your energy really fucking fast, and you'll probably still have that energetic link if you don't cleanse after you do it. And people make mistakes like that. You're not always gonna be perfect, and that's fine, so. But yeah, uh, I don't think I can think of anything else for the moral of my story for my first two hexes. So technically my first hex, but still. I would still, I would still do the hex again and again and again and again, because you don't fucking mess with my friends. You don't abuse them. You don't do, you don't do shit like that. I was raised to not hurt people. And I just don't, I just don't get, well, I was raised to not hurt people, and then I hear I go like, oh, I'm gonna hex these this person twice. I will I believe in justice and I feel like I was justified enough to do that. So I would do it again and again and again and again. Friends, family, me, my husband, his family, anyone I cared about. That's that's my ethics. My ethics? That's my ethic. Ethic? Principle? I guess you would consider it a principle that I would, I would, I would do it again and again and again for the people I love. Cause that's me. <laughs> I, I'm, I want to say I'm like more left hand, but I'm also in the middle. Cause I don't really, I'm not love and light and I'm not, oh, I need to hex everybody. Hex the moon. <laughs> oh God. TikTok. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, I gotta do some of that sometime, like reviews on TikTok witches, or witch talk, whatever you want to call it. But, um, but yeah, 
Uh, and so for me not to keep rambling, um, if you don't feel too weird about sharing your own experience with a hex or a jinx or possibly a curse that you have done, you don't have to go into extreme detail. You can just be like, oh, I hexed this one person one time. And it's like, oh yeah, we share something. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it'd be like nice to know that other people do this and you should not be ashamed. You should not be shamed, actually, for doing stuff to protect you and your loved ones. If y'all would, would like, y'all can like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would really love it. <laughs> I would hopefully like to at least do bi-weekly videos. The weekly videos is not going to be good for me because there are some weeks that I just can't do it. And sometimes you might not even see a video from me for like a month. Uh, I know that's gonna like hinder my channel growth. I really, it's not like I don't care about my channel growth, but at the same time, like, I also wanna create a community on here and share information and stuff like that. But I just know that like with my mental health and stuff, I need to take care of me and if I have the energy to do it, if I have the energy to do it, I will do it. But if I do not, I will not. So, but I will keep y'all posted on stuff like that. Be like, oh yeah, there's a video out this week or there's not gonna be a video out this week. Sorry guys, I'm just, I'm not feeling it right now. I also work a full-time job and I don't really plan on leaving that job for like a really long time, even though it kinda sucks. There's a lot of drama at work and I don't, I don't know if I can deal with it. <laughs> but I really don't plan on leaving my job anytime soon. I will see y'all later, bye. <laughs> wow, it's weird to be back after four months. <laughs> Do I remember my intro? <laughs> Hi everyone. I hear my cat. Look, this is the purple hair. It's so nice. Hi, what is it? Do I want to do witches and ghouls? Witches, ghouls, and pagans? Witches, pagans, and ghouls? I don't know. Really? Now you want to bother me since we're doing this right now. I see how it is. Just don't mess up the tripod, please. Whew. Oh gosh! <laughs>